What do you think would happen if a roller coaster had a hill in the middle of the track that was taller than the first hill of the roller coaster? Would the cars be able to make it up this bigger hill using just gravity, or would other factors keep it from getting over this hill? Take two minutes to analyze the following roller coaster diagram and think, pair, and share your answers. We're ready to hear your brilliant responses. The underlying principle of all roller coasters is the law of conservation of energy, which describes how energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Energy is only transferred from one form to another. In roller coasters, the two forms of energy that are most important are gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. As we've discussed before in our Analyzing Kinetic and Potential Energy Graphs video, gravitational potential energy is the energy that an object has because of its height and is equal to the object's mass multiplied by its height multiplied by its gravitational constant of approximately 10 meters per second squared. So basically, gravitational potential energy equals mass times gravity times height. Gravitational potential energy is greatest at the highest point of a roller coaster and least at the lowest point. Kinetic energy is the energy an object has because of its motion and is equal to one half multiplied by the mass of an object multiplied by its velocity squared. Or otherwise, kinetic energy equals one half the mass times velocity squared. Kinetic energy is greatest at the lowest point of a roller coaster and least at the highest point of a roller coaster. Potential and kinetic energy can be exchanged for one another. So at certain points, the cars of a roller coaster may have just potential energy at the top of the first hill, or just kinetic energy at the lowest part of the hill, or some combination of kinetic and potential energy at all other points. As you can tell, there is a constant inverse relationship between potential and kinetic energy. As one goes up, the other one goes down, and vice versa. The first hill of a roller coaster is always the highest point of the roller coaster because it requires the gravitational potential energy to be converted into kinetic energy to get through the rest of the ride. At the top of the first hill, a car's energy is almost entirely gravitational potential energy and almost zero kinetic energy because its velocity is zero or almost zero. This is the maximum energy that the car will ever have during the ride. That energy can become kinetic energy, which it does at the bottom of this hill when the car is moving fast, or a combination of potential and kinetic energy like at the tops of smaller hills, 